Hi there. I'm glad to meet you. I'm Auntie Porky. My real name is Porcupine, but that's too difficult to say, so you can just call me Porky. <laughs> this is a story of a young girl called Jackie and her little brother named Elf. They're about to go on an adventure and meet lots of friends. You'll know each one by a different sound. Are you ready? Listen carefully and try to remember each sound. Jackie has brown hair and big brown eyes. Elf has brown hair, blue eyes, and slightly pointed ears. Caw is a pushy, loud-voiced blue jay. Harold Hare has one pointed ear and one floppy one, and has an aggressive personality. Brownie Fox has red brown hair, a sly look on his face, and never looks you in the eye. He has one leg that's hurting, so he limps. Bebe Lemming is a cuddly little fur ball. And Lynx. Lynx is sly. He's got brown, white, blackish hair, pointed ears, and he looks really fierce. He's got rough, throaty way of talking when he's not screaming. Are you comfortably seated? If yes, let's begin. This is the story of an adventurous little girl named Jackie. She loves to play and has a very active imagination. She has a little brother called Elvis, who everyone calls Elf because he's very small and, and has pointed ears. Jackie takes good care of her little brother and he follows her everywhere. Her dad, Tom, and her mom, Emily. They decided to go camping in the far north so that Tom can go fishing and the family can swim in the lake. They pile into their little red car and drive way, way, way up north. A long six hour drive along bumpy dirt roads. doesn't go any farther. They're far into the woods, about 60 kilometers south of where the tree line ends. They finally arrive at a clearing next to a crystal clear lake. Jackie and Elf can't wait to jump and swim. But their parents say that first they all must help empty the car and put up the tent. And besides, the water is very cold. After helping and setting up the tent, Jackie Nelf's mom says that she's tired after the long trip and she wants to have a nap. And their dad is going fishing. So their mom says, there are very scary animals out there. Don't go in the woods. Jack 
Becky realizes after her mom goes for a nap that she's left her teddy bear at home. She can't go to sleep without her pet. She's heard that lemmings make very nice pets. They're very warm and cuddly. So she and Elf go into the woods, even though their mother told them not to. She looks at Elf and says, We're not scared, are we? Elf, his teeth chattering and his knees shaking, says, No, no, we're not, we're not scared. Father Blue Jay is sitting on a branch of a tall jack pine tree. Where do you think you're going? He screams. Blue Jays are beautiful birds, but they have a screechy voice. We're going to find a lemming, answers Jackie. Do you know where, where we can find one? I heard they make very fine pet. I know just the place, says Blue Jay, leaving the branch and settling on Jackie's shoulder. He's a polite bird and introduces himself. My name is Ka, he screeches. Elf looks at Ka and says, I didn't know birds could talk. Of course we can, replies Ka. It's just that people don't listen. You only hear your own prattle. You really must open your ears to hear the wind and birds and other animals talk. Okay, says Elf. I'll open my ears. I'll open my ears from now on so I can listen to what you have to say. But please, please, don't scream in my ear. Jackie and Ka both laugh <laughs> good-naturedly. As they're laughing, they walk through the woods. Oh, goodness gracious, says Jackie as she spots something tangled up in a net. Look, it's a hare. We have to get him out of there. I didn't know. I've never seen a hare look like that, says Elf. It looks like a bunny rabbit to me. Not a hair like that, not the hair like you have on your head, silly, but a hair. And yes, it does look like a rabbit. Let's get it untangled, says Jackie. The hair is tangled in a net and, and really not looking happy. If you're through laughing, you silly people, Shouts the hare, get me out of here. Jackie, as always, is polite. She's been told that when she meets someone new, it's polite to introduce oneself. My name is Jackie, and this is Elf, and our friend Ka. I don't care what your names are, snarls Hare. Get me out of here. You're not very polite, Mr. Hare, says Jackie. All right, I'm sorry. My name is Harold. Now, will you please get me out of this net? Jack and Elf get to work and untangle Harold the Hare. And they all go merrily on their way. Trapesing through the woods, one behind the other, looking for Lemmy. They come to a bubbling stream. Jackie and Harold jump to the other side. But Elf comes up short and lands sitting in the stream. <laughs> he laughs along with the others. Goodness me, says Jackie, as she spots a fox with one leg caught in a trap. Everyone we meet seems to be in trouble.
Leave him there, says Harold the Hare. I know him. He's always trying to catch me. He wants to eat me. Is that true? asks Jackie. It's true, answers the fox. But if you get me out of this trap, I promise never to chase you again, he says with his fingers crossed. Jackie finds a thick stick and inserts it in the trap. She and Elf tug mightily and open the trap enough so that the fox can get his leg out. What's your name? asks Elf. My friends call me Brownie in summer and Whitey in winter. Why two names? asks Elf, always curious. Because I'm an arctic fox. My brown coat becomes white in winter. The better to hide myself. He smiles a sly smile. While thinking his camouflage helps him catch hares and lemmings. Of course, he's not about to tell them that. You should go to the hospital to get your legs fixed. It looks Really bad, says Jackie, looking at the fox's bruised and slightly bleeding back. Don't you people know anything? asks the fox, showing his teeth. There are no fox hospital. Oh, yes, there are, says Jackie. They're called Vetra, 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 prefer Ah, something. It's for animals. So there. Look, says Ka. There's a lemming sitting on the edge of the burrow. He looks worried, says Jackie. I think he thinks we're going to harm him or eat him. Can you talk to him, Ka? Tell him we're friends. He'll only make friends with you if, if the fox goes away, says the bird. Tell him I'll, I'll make sure he won't make trouble, says Jackie. And besides, he has an injured leg. He, he can't run very well. Con the Lemming, whose name is Baby, talk. And Baby comes over and shakes Jackie and Elf's hand. He and Harold have known each other for years, and they give themselves high fives. While the new found friends are all talking and having a nice visit, a lynx is crouched in the brush behind a large pine tree, hidden from them. He's watching them with mean lynx eyes, licking his lips, thinking that the hare and the lemming would make a tasty dinner. He moves silently on his well-padded feet. He's getting ready to pounce. Caw springs from Jackie's shoulder and flies to a nearby branch, crying, Oh dear! Oh dear! Here he comes! Here comes Strabo! Harold says, Yes, yes, I can smell it! Me too, says Brownie the fox, sniffing the air. Jackie and Elf are perplexed. They wonder... What has frightened their friends? What is it? says Jackie. Jackie and Elf look around. It's the lynx! screams Ka. What's a lynx? asks Jackie and Elf simultaneously. Harold answer. It's like a big cat. It's very mean and dangerous. We must get out of here quickly. But where can we go? Asked Jackie, a bit of panic in her voice. Elf and I can't run very fast. 
brownie. The sly fox is, is ready to give advice, knowing it will get him and the children out of trouble. He knows he can't run very well on his injured leg, and that the lynx can easily catch him. But he has a plan. There's only one thing to do, he says. What? What? asked Jackie, scooping up BB and tucking him in her jacket. Harold, says Brownie, you've got to run and get the lynx to chase you. Why not you? You're faster than me, says Harold. Brownie is not called a sly fox for nothing. I've got an injured leg. He'd catch me in an instant. That's true, says Gaw. You run to your burrow and I'll get the children home while he chases you. Jackie is worried for Harold. Can you run fast enough? She asks. I don't know, answers Harold in a tremulous voice, his legs shaking. That lynx can really run. The lynx springs from his hiding place and speeds towards Harold and the children. He lets out an awful scream. I've been looking for a meal of fat hair all day, he roars. Harold is already running away in great leaps and bounds. You'll have to catch me! You'll have to catch me! You'll have to catch me first! He's running at full speed, his ears flapping in the wind. Gaw shows his courage by flying in the lynx's face to give Harold a better chance of getting away. Leave him alone, you big bully! He caws. The lynx roars. Get out of my way, bird! It's either the hare or the little boy that'll... I'll eat today, maybe both. He laughs. <laughs> Ah, a lynx laugh which sounds like a screech. By this time, Harold has a sizable lead. He turns around and sticks his tongue out at the lynx, who's in full pursuit and gaming. Na 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 na, hey 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 hey, goodbye. You can't catch me, I'm a bumblebee. The lynx chases Harold, who dances on the edge of his burrow and thumbs his nose at him, wiggling his fingers. Then, just as the lynx is about to get his claws into him, he dives into his burrow. The lynx screams in frustration. Quickly, says Ka. Let's get you home before he comes back. Jackie grabs Elf's hand and they follow Ka out of the forest, running as fast as they can. They get back to the tent, just as their mother wakes up and says, Oh, that was a nice sleep. Have you been playing here all day? She asks. Jackie has her fingers crossed behind her back. Most of the time, she answers. Just then, their father comes into the clearing, carrying three fat rainbow trout. Look what I caught for dinner! We can barbecue them, he says, holding up the trout for all to see. Save some fish bones for me! says Ka, flying up to his usual branch in the jack pine tree. Jackie and Elf laugh. Jackie suddenly realizes she still has Bibi sitting comfortably in her back pocket, smiling with a wink at Ka, sitting there on his branch in the jack pine tree. The end.